everyone, so just before I had a bath and I soaked off all of my fake tan and then I remembered that bunches of you have actually been requesting a makeup look for fair or pale skin. So here is my natural skin tone. There is absolutely nothing wrong with being pale. I just fake tan because I love it. It's totally up to you what you want to do with your own body. I kind of feel like doing something semi-dramatic. I'm going to do a evening look and if you guys end up liking this tutorial then let me know and maybe I can do like a daytime look for fair skin as well. So let's begin. I'm going to take the L'Oreal Lumi Magic Base. This is a primer and it's just like a kind of luminizing primer. When I rock fair skin I think it's a really nice look to have quite a nice kind of glow to your face. It doesn't have to be over the top but I just feel like it makes your skin look a little bit more fresh, healthy, healthy glow. Next up I'm going to do a little bit of foundation. A couple of my fair foundations I have here are the Chi Chi Fabulous, just smacked my nose, Fabulous and Flawless and this is in the shade 1 Ivory and then I've also got the shade Vanilla of the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. So of course you just want to kind of match it to your body. I'm actually going to take a mixture of the two of those. You can use any foundation that matches you obviously just like anyone with any other skin colour. <laughs> I absolutely love both of these foundations. The Chi Chi one gives you a little bit more of a glow and the Born This Way is like the most amazing coverage so I think both of them mixed together will work really nicely. And like always just make sure you bring it down your neck a little bit to make sure everything is blended really well. So once you have that all blended out, you want to conceal and powder. Under my eyes, I'm using Fair by Collection um, Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is even pale on me when I'm pale. It's a really good one if you've got fair skin. Like, can you see how light that is? If you have, like, the lightest of light skin, try this one out and see how it goes. I love it. It's such a good formula. Like, it's one of my favorite concealers of all time. And then I'm just going to use my brush to start blending that out. And I'm kind of doing a triangular shape like normal. I basically apply my makeup in the same kind of ways as I would when I'm fake tanned. I just kind of adapt the colors a little bit to my slightly fairer skin tone. Next I'm taking the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer and this is in the shade Ivory. And this is going to go on my blemishes and like scarring on my chin. And this just matches my skin tone a lot better. So it's a little bit better for the rest of my face. It's not brightening. The only pressed powder I have right now that isn't translucent that will match me is this e.l.f. Pressed Mineral Foundation in the shade Porcelain. So I'm just going to use this pressed powder. I've never actually used this before. Oh, it's actually very flawless. I like it. And then under my eyes like normal, I'm using Well Rested by Bare Minerals. And that will just set the concealer. And you can see that even on fair skin, that product is really, really reflective and quite brightening. So it really does still work on fair skin. Next up, I'm using a quick spritz of a spray. This one here is the Skin Food Glossy Finishing Spray. So this will give me like a really dewy finish. Like I said in the beginning, it just helps your skin to look a little bit more like bright and awake and fresh and healthy. You can use anything, but I do recommend using setting sprays just to soak up any excess powder that's sitting on your skin. So that's how our skin is looking now. I'm going to wait until the end till we bronze and everything. I'll show you some bronzing products that I recommend for fair skin. One of my favorite lip colors on fair skin, like when I'm wearing fair makeup, fair skin, I get when I'm wearing fair skin. That sounds so weird. You know what I mean. One of my favorite combinations is like a really bright red. This is Yasmin um, Lip Pencil by Colourpop. And then I'm using the lippy stick called Frenchie. It's a matte shade. I feel like if you don't wear much on your eyes, you look really like doll-like. Like I feel too innocent and pretty and just normal. So what we're going to pair it up with is a nice kind of like bronze smoky eye to really like kind of deepen up the face and make it look more sexy. But it'll still flatter the pale skin and won't make you look paler. I know sometimes like really heavy eyeshadow can make you feel a little bit washed out and stuff like that so one moment. So I'm just using the MAC, um, what is this called? Not Black Track, that would have been a disaster. <laughs> the Dirty Blonde Fluid Line. For the eyeshadow you want to start with a warm brown base. I'm going to use this Mesmerize um, eyeshadow thing. Mona Lisa by Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm just popping that on the lid first. 
And then I'm just buffing that out with a blender brush. This is a synthetic one, Round Top Blender by XO Beauty. And then I'm using this Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill, which is destroyed as you can see, but I'm still going to use it. This is in the shade 28. I'm going straight in with an eyeshadow blender brush. This one's XO Beauty. And then I am going to put some of that product on and don't go too heavy handed straight away. I'm just buffing that on the lid. And then I'm kind of winging it out a little bit. Like making it quite hazy I guess. And you can take a clean blending brush once you finish this. Um, and then just blend it out even more. So you can see that kind of shape I went for. Now I'm going in with a matte shade in my crease and this shade here is called Birkin and it's by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm taking a little bit on that same blender brush and this is just going to deepen up the crease a little bit and just kind of like buff that in to that wing as well just to kind of elongate and join it up. And I'm also going to run that from that wing directly underneath my lash line. I'm not going to go the whole way across though, just on that outer kind of like third or so. This colour is really nice because it's kind of got a slight like rosy kind of skin tone undertone. So I feel like it just really goes well with fair skin. To highlight my brow bone and inner corner, I'm using this shade here by Chi Chi. It's If I Could Turn Back Time. It's just a really pale kind of champagne with glitter. Well not glitter, just very fine shimmer. This is going to go right under the brow bone. Also going just on that inner corner. This is an EXO Beauty short eyeshadow brush by the way. Since this is an evening look, I'm going to use some eyeliner in my waterline. Just to make it super dark and sexy and sultry and beautiful. <laughs> this shade here is Tiger's Eye by Stila Thick Jowl Eyeliner. This is going on my waterline and tight line. I'm also going to use a little bit of this Their Real Gel Liner. This is a brown one, but you could use black if you want it to look even more intense. But I'm just using brown because I think it really looks pretty. The only thing to remember if you're going to do like a winged eyeliner with this makeup look, follow that same direction as the wing. Okay, so I just touched up my um, waterline eyeliner as well. This side turned out so much better than this side. Story of my life. For mascara, I'm going to use my Benefit Roller Lash. And since this is an evening look, I'm going to use false lashes. Who am I kidding? I would use false lashes anyway. But I'm going to be using the Prima Donna by EXO Beauty. As you can see, they kind of flare out on the outer corner. So it'll really complement this like dramatic winged eyeliner. Oh my god, I need to sneeze so bad. So that's how the eyeshadow looks. It's just very soft and smoky. And the really dramatic eyelashes and eyeliner to make it really pop and look more dramatic and sexy. One of the top questions I get is bronzers. Like, which bronzers shall I use if I'm fair because they look muddy or they look too dark or, you know. So one of the ones I love is the Natural Bronzer by Rimmel. This is the Sun Bronze. And the reason I like this for fairer skin is it's quite... Not sheer, but it's less coverage than a lot of high-end bronzers, which can be a really, really good thing when it comes to bronzer. Another one that's amazing is the, I think it's the Maybelline Fit Me bronzer. Again, very sheer, buildable. The first layer you put on is very sheer, and then you can layer it up to get a more like bold look. That is so good for people that have fair skin, because you can really control the amount of product. This one's a little bit orangish, so I don't recommend going too overboard. It just looks really nice just on the outer perimeter. But one of my favorite ones if you want to splurge and, you know, use something that's a little bit more expensive. Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. This is for light and medium skin tones. And it's a matte bronzer and it looks like this. And as you can see, like, if you compare it to my skin tone, it's fairly pale. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this just everywhere you would normally bronze. Oh, it smells like hot chocolate. <laughs> so good. As you can see, it's just kind of warmed up my face a little bit um, without looking 
orange or too bronzed or anything like that. And then I'm going to use a little bit of this colour from the Anastasia. Something just dropped on the floor. From the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit, this colour right here. This is the Definer brush from EXO Beauty. I'm just going to define my cheekbones with this colour. And then going in with a small tape of face brush and just buffing that out. Those are what you call sharp looking cheekbones. Maybe she was born with it. Nope. <laughs> for my blush, I'm going to use this hourglass one because it doesn't really work for me when I've got fake tan on. The shade is Dim Infusion and this is a medium face brush by So Beauty. And I'm just buffing a little bit of that kind of like on the apple of my cheek and then bringing it backwards. And this has a fine shimmer through it. So again, it just helps to give you that natural flush and natural glow. And then to highlight my cheekbones, a favourite of mine for fair skin is Moonstone by Becca. It's one of their paler colours. And just popping that right up the top of my cheekbones. I'm also going to put it on the very tip of my nose. It just kind of makes the tip of my nose look a little bit like, not higher, kind of just like make it come out a bit more. So my nose is very like flat. And again one more spritz of the Dewy Mist. And then just to make the look a little bit more playful and a little bit more youthful I'm going to add a little bit of lip gloss to my lips. This one here is the Dior Lip Gloss and it's in the shade 754. So this is my evening makeup tutorial for fair or pale skin. Here's a little close up of the eyes for you. I hope it was helpful and of course if you don't have fair skin, the same makeup look will look amazing on you as well. Just darken up that eyeshadow colour and you're away. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please thumbs up like always and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! Is there Beverly Hills? Oh wait, I almost forgot. I also got these from Wild Pear as well. Some shoes. These are just some really nice kind of plain black boots. These are called the Glory Boot. Alright, so inside the Anastasia Beverly Hills box, new liquid lipsticks. I've heard a lot about these. That sepia one is meant to be really good. Um, this was also sent to me. <gasps> Let me just gain my